Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about some property improvements that you can do for deer hunting on some small acreage. So here in South Carolina, I got a small acreage plot and over the years I've done a few things to improve it. But one of the biggest things I've done to help draw deer into early season are plant sawtooth oak trees. That's what we're looking at today. You can see these sawtooth, these acorns that are growing, the shells there. So uh, we're going to talk about these. So uh, stay tuned, hit that like and subscribe button. So what I'm going to do in this video, it's going to be broken into two parts. The first part, I'm just going to kind of give you an overview of the various sets of these sawtooth oaks I have on my property. But what I wanted to do was, look, I know the deer love these things, but I never really chronicled it. So the second part is I'm chronicling uh, that, that period of time these acorns are dropping from these trees. I set my deer camera up on two locations underneath these sawtooth oaks. And so basically, I'm going to go through date by date you know, several days in between, but I'm gonna chronicle the entire month these acorns are dropping just to show you how much they're producing, how much the deer are hitting this, and that's basically what we're gonna show you. So stay tuned. Okay, this tree right here, I'm gonna tell you that it's over 20 years old. I think I put that in 2001. It was already a five-year-old tree at a nursery. They basically gave it to me for the cost of uh, planting the tree because they were gonna just tear it down because it's too big. It's it's pretty big, okay? You can see that's, uh, I'm saying that's probably 50 foot tall and uh, it's pretty wide, it's got a big canopy and uh, this drops a lot of acorns and in fact, we used acorns from this tree to seed a bunch of the ones I planted. So, got two initially from that nursery. I've got some from uh, different stores when they went on clearance and then I got a lot of uh, some bare root that I picked up from a guy and then a lot we grew ourselves here. Here's a row of uh, sawtooth oak trees. They're probably, I would say, 35 foot tall. They're probably seven to 10 years old at this point. Probably more like 10, is what I'm thinking. They have been producing acorns since probably year three or four. And right now they just are producing an abundance of them. Another three sawtooth oaks. These were on a clearance at a Kmart. So I bought them when they were probably, nah, probably a six foot, five, six foot tree. So um, probably two, three years old at that point. Now they're probably 10 or 12 years old. These guys are producing heavy. I got a cluster. This one's never really did so good, but here's a cluster of trees. You can see there's about five of them here. One, two, three, four, five trunks that I can see. And uh, you can see these things are doing pretty good. These were uh, bare root that I picked up from somebody that was growing them from, from seed, which I've put a lot on my property from seed that I've collected from these trees. And these are just loaded as well. I've already got pictures of deer eating under these as well. September 12th. You can see these things getting bigger. See my thumb and the size of that thing in there. They're still green. They haven't dropped yet. So, there's a bunch more up top there, on this tree. There's a bunch of them over here. They're all just getting bigger. I mean, just look at this thing. Let's move the head back here. The... So you can see the size of these things. But we're loaded up. They haven't started dropping yet, September 12th. So. We're a few weeks shy of bow season here in South Carolina. Right, here's some of my sawtooths. You can see these. It's pretty loaded up. September 13th right now. Got a lot of green ones. You see how big these are. This size of my thumb compared to that thing. The thing is, is according to my camera, which I put down here just to check the uh, this is my cutaback, one of my cutaback cameras. They're all linked up. You can check my videos on that. These things are awesome for that. Well, I did a little looking around on the ground. I found one a minute ago down here. So they are starting to drop. It was a brown one. And now I can't find it. Uh, we got a hole here, piece of a hole there. 
Another hole there, and there. There's one that something's bit down on. You can see the size of these things. Let's look at that. So they're already dropping. I've already got them on my camera. Feeding under these trees. There's another one right there. More caps. So yeah, they're already down here feeding on these things. And plenty of green left on the trees, so these things will be dropping well into archery season. And I've already got pictures of bucks feeding on them, so this is really good. So behind me is a cluster of five sawtooth oaks that we planted from seed. Look at these acorns that I picked up in just two or three minutes under here. There's all kind of deer droppings underneath the trees. And this is what I picked up right now, which probably just fell, to, uh, fell off the tree in the last 24 hours because these deer are coming through here like nonstop, according to my cameras, hitting all these sawtooth oaks right now. So we're into archery season here in South Carolina, and they're all over these trees all through the day. My cameras are showing me like 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 2 o'clock, 4.30, 6 o'clock in the morning doesn't matter but uh, we're just gonna collect some acorns here off of some of these trees that we're gonna use for planting for uh, next year for seedlings okay I just want you to look at the number of caps that are on the ground from these acorns I mean if I back out I mean you can spot them all over the place I mean they're everywhere here look at them everywhere I mean that's what kind of thing. this tree is probably about I would say 10, 11 inches in diameter at this point. And uh, I mean, there's caps all over the ground. The deer are coming here and finding deer droppings all underneath all these trees. So it's a pretty crazy amount, amount of acorns they put out. So here's a bag full that me and my daughter collected tonight. You kind of see the size of these. Look at my thumb compared to these things. So these are good size. We collected these tonight. This is just for tonight. We got deer droppings under all these trees. There's probably, let's see, five probably nine trees that we went around and collected from. Some of them didn't have any, um, but the majority of them had a good bit. And this is just what we picked up tonight. There was far more caps on the ground. There's just this one sampling from the night, which needs to be gone tomorrow if we waited uh, due to the deer coming in tonight eating them, so. All right, September 24th. So archery season started on the 15th. Muzzleloader starts on October 1st. So a few more days yet. I'm just gonna kind of show you. Some of them are starting to turn brown now. Still got a couple green ones up in here that you can see. But you can probably see that cluster turning brown there. There's some further out there. They're still they're starting to turn brown. There's a bunch of them up there yet. So although we have been having a massive amount of them dropping, we're nine days into archery season, and I'm gonna tell you something. The deer are feeding on these according to my deer cameras. I'm talking throughout the entire day. They'll be here at seven in the morning. They'll be here at 8.30. They'll be here at 9.15. They'll come back at 10.30, 11.30, 12, 1.30, four, you know, six o'clock, seven o'clock. I mean, daylight, it doesn't matter. They're here all day coming through these trees, which really blew me away because I've never set my, I knew that the deer love these things, but I'm gonna tell you, you know, it's just uh, amazing how many times these deer are visiting these trees each day during the daylight that my cameras are showing me that I had no idea until I put these cameras under these trees. So it's early season. It's for early season attracting deer to your property. It's for early season archery. Not sure if the acorns will still be here come October 1st. Um, but by that time, we should have some white oaks starting to drop too and we can get into that action. So these sawtooth oaks are amazing. Okay, today's September 27th, and you can see I've got some green ones still on the tree, and as I scan, you're going to notice that some of these, you kind of see these, these holes here, are starting to turn brown. We still have acorns in them. The holes are starting to turn brown, 
So we're getting to the end of the time these things are gonna be valid, but you can still see I got a bunch of green ones still there. So they're probably gonna carry over in the muzzleloader season into October, first part of October. So I just wanted to give you a shot of this, see what this looks like, but you can see they're, uh, come down here and just look. So I'll show you the ground. There's one, there's some. Look at these, they're all over the ground. I mean, they're everywhere. And the deer coming through there, there's some, there's, I don't know if you have a little bit of deer dropping there. There's deer dropping all over this place. Second, and you can see I've got still have some sawtooth acorns on this tree here. They have the, the caps have mostly browned up, but they're still here. That's you all over the place when I look on the branches here. I'm seeing sawtooth acorns, so this tree is still dropping its acorns. The deer are gonna be eating them here. There's caps down here. So this tree is still producing, still producing. It's October 7th, and I got some empty holes up there, but I do have some acorns. See some here. Empty and contained, let's see, or wisp holes. So I uh, got a few more up there. So there's still some, a, a good a good amount of acorns in these, still in the caps on these trees, October 7th. So rifle season here in South Carolina starts on the 11th. So these are definitely getting you through uh, muzzleloader season anyway, still producing. They're probably gonna dry up by the end of the week is what I'm figuring and we'll be finished with these, but the white oaks are starting to drop now in the woods naturally, the natural white oaks, so. so. Here's another one. I just heard an acorn drop. So you can see I got, there's a few green ones still on this tree. We got, we actually have quite a few acorns. Now they're very brown, which means they're gonna be dropping real soon for the most part, but I've got quite a few on this tree still. And if you look at the ground here, I mean, there's an acorn there. Oh, good night, more acorns. I mean, you look at the amount of caps that are covering this ground. I, I can't imagine the amount of tonnage uh, that has come out of here uh, for these trees. But a lot of these acorns on the ground here, a lot of caps. You can see how, how much is put out. So October 7th, we're still dropping acorns. So actually, this looks better than the other tree. There's, this one's still loaded, it seems like. So we might even get... There was another one that just dropped out. So the wind's dropping. So anyway, they're lovely things. Okay, it's October 10th. Tomorrow's the first day of rifle season in South Carolina. And I'm checking out the saltus. We had a good rainstorm last night. And this tree is about empty. I don't even see any more caps. There might be one or two up there somewhere. So I think we're pretty much done with the saltus producing the acorns for the deer. Now I will tell you about five days ago, I noticed that the white oaks started dropping and I'm gonna check these cameras again and see but they're probably we're still coming to these trees to check them out but now the white oaks are dropping all on the other side of the creek there's a creek that runs on the other side of there's this wood line right here and then it goes uphill and there's a ton of white oaks scattered throughout over there so those uh those white oaks over there have been dropping regularly all over the place so but what these what these saltus did is they brought the deer in here I probably Again, archery season starts September 15th, and these things probably started dropping around September 10th. So they really brought the deer and held them on the property on a regular basis all the way till now. So some from September 10th to October 10th. Kept the deer on my property. The deer have now found the white oaks as well, which are on my property. The food plots they found now as well. They're a very good draw for the deer. So if you want to improve some habitat, for a small acres property, sawtooth sort of way to go. I probably could have hunted on any one of my clusters. 
on any given day and, and killed a deer if that was my goal. Um, would have been no problem at all. Okay, it's October 10th. Most of my trees are dried up as far as these go. You can see I've got some acorns there. This one still has some, even a green one, yet on this one. So, in fact, everything I'm looking at up here, all these caps, uh, have acorns in them still. So this tree is still producing. So October 10th, this tree is still producing. More acorns over here. Yeah, this still has a good bit on it. Whereas another tree I just checked a few minutes ago, it was pretty much devoid. All the caps were empty and, and the trees have lost most of their caps as well. Okay, it's October 14th. So rifle season here started three days ago on the 11th. I don't know if you can see here, but this particular tree still has a couple acorns on it. There's not many left, and I think we're really getting to the end. But this is the last tree I saw had some on it. They're very sparse. Now I see a few more up that way, but uh, very sparse now, so most of it's about finished, I believe. Here's, uh, here's another acorn right here. So we still have a few more. To drop but uh, pretty much I would say that most of the trees that I've got don't have this many acorns on them most of the caps have already you know uh, dried up and fallen to the ground this is the one last holdout here and yeah you can see dried caps down there and... but this is about it so I think we're pretty much at the end here October 14th Again, October 14th, and I got a few lingering on this tree as well. So there's still a few holdouts here. So we're going to say it's pretty much safe to say that from uh, probably after the first week of September all the way through mid-October, these things produce. Um, we're beyond the peak. As you can see there's, there's one on the ground there. They've definitely been feeding under here on these trees, but... Uh, these are good trees for uh, mid-September to mid-October. They produce a tonnage. Okay, it's October 18th. I just came down to uh, move the camera. I'm wrapping up the video on these sawtooth oaks. And most of my trees are pretty well done. But I got down here and to my surprise, I have just got tons of acorns on the ground down here. I mean, I scan around, they're everywhere. I'm just, I'm just amazed at how many are on the ground right now. I mean, everywhere I step, there's more acorns on the ground. Which really blows me away. This place is loaded with acorns on the ground right now. God, I everywhere I look. I'm just really surprised. This is really late for these trees. But as you can see, there's a lot of acorns down there. Anyway, October 18th, but I don't really see any on the trees, tree at all. But wow, I just can't believe how many are on the ground here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I sure did. I, I've always known that the deer really love these sawtooth oak trees. I know they benefit my property. I didn't realize how much they loved the sawtooth oaks until I did this little experiment and put my cameras underneath that and chronicled them day by day and looked at these deer cameras. And the pictures that I put in this video was just a small sampling. And what I was astonished at, look, I know deer come to food plots on a regular basis. I know when the white oaks start dropping, you know, they go to the white oaks, which they're, they're everywhere right now, especially after um, the storm Zeta came through and they're all over the ground. But I haven't seen deer come to one food source so frequently that it's a natural food source. Obviously, you put corn out, they come to corn. But these sawtooths, uh, some days, they hit that sawtooth in the daytime six or seven times. And I was just amazed. And I'm talking, it was like this for a solid month. They were hitting these trees. So I learned a lot from it. Hope you did too. Sawtooth oaks are one of the things you can really improve if you have a small acreage property. They'll bring a deer in and keep them on your property for early season. So thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. See you next time.